The Pilatus PC24 is equipped with two multifunction displays, or MFDs. In the standard configuration, the upper MFD is used as the situational MFD, and the lower MFD is used as the systems MFD. The swap button on the MFC can be used to swap the situational MFD with the systems MFD. The situational MFD displays the flight plan waypoint list, iNav map display, vertical navigation display, and the flight management window. The iNav display features a top-down map capable of displaying terrain and navigation data. The map is interactive. Clicking on items on the map will display additional information when available. This functionality can also be used to tune radio frequencies directly. The map can also be used to create or modify flight plans using the graphical flight planning feature. In this example, the iNav map is used to perform a direct to command. The range of the map can be adjusted using the set knob on the MFC. The MFD has a row of buttons or soft keys along the right edge of the display. These buttons can be activated by using the cursor to click on them or by pushing the associated bezel button. The map orientation can be changed between north up or heading up by pushing the north or heading up button. By default, the map is centered on the aircraft. However, it can be scrolled in any direction by placing the cursor on the edge of the map and activating the scroll bars. You can center the map on any location by clicking on the location and selecting Center Map. Clicking on Center Aircraft at any time will recenter the map on the aircraft. Clicking on Center 2 Waypoint will center the map on the 2 Waypoint in the FMS flight plan. You can step forward through the waypoints in the flight plan by clicking on Skip Waypoint. This is a good way to verify a flight plan including waypoint and altitude restrictions. The Recall Waypoint button will step you backwards through the flight plan. The Message Clear button is used to clear any system messages that might be displayed. The Nearest button displays a list of airports nearest to the aircraft and can be useful in case a quick diversion needs to be made. The Charts button provides access to the Jeppesen Terminal Charts Display. For more information, refer to the video on Charts Display. The VSD button activates the Vertical Situation Display. The Vertical Situation Display shows a profile view of the aircraft oriented along the flight path or aircraft track. It also displays terrain along with VNAV altitude information. The Aeronautical drop-down menu can be used to select various items to be overlaid on the map. Some items, such as intersections in this example, are only displayed at specific map range settings. So, if a selected item is not displayed, adjust the range as necessary. While the active flight plan is always displayed on the map, the flight plan drop-down menu can be used to display the missed approach, alternate flight plan, or any constraints such as altitude or speed associated with a flight plan's waypoints. The geopolitical drop-down menu contains VFR and non-aviation related overlay selections such as political boundaries, roads, and VFR reference points. The terrain drop-down menu is used to turn the terrain display off or on. The terrain brightness can be adjusted by turning the scroll knob while the cursor is on this menu. Selecting SA Terrain displays Situational Awareness Terrain from the EGPWS. This terrain display is relative terrain. The color of the terrain corresponds to the relative altitude from the aircraft and is automatically updated as the aircraft climbs or descends. The Weather drop-down menu is used to display weather data. 
Available weather display features can be external, such as XM and uplink weather, or onboard weather radar. XM and uplink weather are optional. A submenu displays individual XM weather products. Multiple XM weather products can be displayed simultaneously. However, XM weather and onboard weather radar selections are mutually exclusive. The TCAS selection controls the display of traffic on the INAV map. Traffic, traffic. By default, the situational MFD also includes the waypoint list and flight management windows. Using the page button on the MFC, the 1 6th window can be configured to show various system windows. For more information on the various system windows that can be displayed here, refer to the system's MFD video. Selecting Waypoint expands the waypoint list across both windows. Many pilots prefer this view during flight. For more information on the waypoint list, refer to the videos on flight planning. For more information on the situational MFD, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.